life. It's what I've done for my career. It's what I do for a living. It's everything that I know. And it really has been some of the best moments in my life. I couldn't imagine having chosen a different career path. You always remember, you know, your first heartbreaks and we lost the state championship. I guess it was one of the first true tastes of failure that I had ever experienced. And it was a goal that I had set that I wanted to win a, a state championship. But those are the things that I've learned most about myself is when I failed or fell down. It's not about the actual failure itself, it's how you respond to it. The Florida Gators have won the 1998 National Championship. A brand new program, only four years old, going against the eternal dynasty of North Carolina. Going into college, knowing that I had just fell short of winning a state championship and being able to kind of turn it on its head and win a national championship with Florida Gators was, was really great. Well, I just remember the first training session. You know, she came out and worked, you know, her butt off from day one. April Heinrichs was the coach at the time and she uh, was my under 16 coach when I was growing up on the youth team. So finally I get my shot. It's a U.S. attacking here. Here's Wambach opportunity. U.S. goes up 1-0 in her first start. Abby Wambach has hit the back of the net here in the seventh minute. That moment was life-changing, not because it was easy, but because it gave me the passion and the motivation to continually to want to do it. 1-1 one, one game, the gold medal match rolling on. Far side, headed by Wambach. her knack for scoring goals and scoring big goals and showing up in those big moments has been tremendous her whole career. I mean, she's got a million goals. It's crazy. She does it the right way. She's invested every single day, every single practice. The standards at which she sets are extremely high, and that's why the team is as successful as they are. And it will go down as the USA's worst performance ever in the Women's World Cup. Three minutes of additional time. There is still life for the United States. It just takes one chance. I just kept holding my finger up. One chance, that's it. Rapino gets the crossing. It's towards one back. In the end, losing in penalties in the final of the World Cup is a heartbreaker, but I do feel like we got so much uh, excitement on back here in the States and couldn't be prouder. We broke into the hearts of the people that are in our country and even around the world. That game grew so many fans for this team. All talk of redemption this week after that World Cup final defeat. Slides into one back. What a magnificent opening goal. 141st in international soccer for Abby Wambach. It's all over. Redemption for the United States. They've come back to win the gold medal against Japan at Wembley Stadium in London 2012. I, I never thought Abby would reach 158. It, it, it really is something special given her trajectory and some of the, the obstacles she's had to overcome along the way. Oh, driven across the walls. Come back! History is made! Goal number 159! It's the international scoring record! It's never easy to say goodbye. You always want to go out on top. You always want there to be that fairy tale like ending. I hope that this is it, not just for me, but for this entire group of women who have shown me the way, who have taught me about myself, who have made me soul search and find out more about who I am and who I want to be. When she comes in in any role she's going to play, she's a great leader because that's what the team is feeding off of. And you could see it. First 10 minutes, we get a goal. Let's go. Let's go. To the middle, one man, and there's one. One by the U.S. 183rd international goal, her 14th World Cup goal. That's it. Game over. The crowd is over. The U.S. wins the 2015 Women's World Cup. All of this for us started when we were little, and we had a dream. 
And in my opinion, all the women up here on this stage believed in that dream. And I believe that that is the reason why we won this World Cup is because none of us ever stopped believing and neither should you guys. The best part about this whole thing is that you know, when I walk away and the team turns the page and moves on, that's what's supposed to happen. They have to move on because I want them to leave the game better than they found it. For me to sit here and talk about Abby, one of the best players of all time, not as a soccer player but as a person, speaks a lot about how she impacts others. And for me, she's more than just a soccer player. She's so much more than that. Abby's impact on not only soccer but women's sports has been one that I don't think someone can really match. I'm the luckiest person I feel like on the planet and it's not because of any individual award or even playing on the grandest stage. It's because I've been able to share it.